Hello, how are you guys? My name is Ibrahim. I'm here today to show you how to connect dual battery or four battery for your e-bike, whatever, any e-bike, but today I'm gonna do the the test on, on the installation on the Area Rider X52, this one here. This is my bike. So I'm gonna install the dual battery today so my Buller Beer dual battery combiner, it have two battery plus two in, two out. So if you have, for example, two motor, you can use both. If you don't have, you just need to tape it and use one of them, or you can use the other one to, for example, to use like a, a voltage a downgrade, like a, to down, down the, the voltage to 12 volt and you can use this one to put like uh, the device to down down the voltage from 52 volt to 12 volt and you can connect anything you like this for these two so uh, this is the dual battery here and this is the quad battery so the quad battery is like this one here so is in in out out in in so this is the four battery combiner and it's look like that so this battery combiner work on the it combine two battery whatever voltage like um, they have for example 52 volt 48 volt 36 volt 60 volt 80 volt up to 80 volt up to 2000 watt they can handle it's 50 amp a battery combiner both for the dual battery and for the for the quad and for the dual battery so i'm i'm gonna do it in in different way i saw on the youtube too many people they do different way on the e-bike on the area rider so i want to show you the way i did it for uh to do the connection so all i need is this two cables this is 12 12 AWG, so it's thicker than the regular one, so it doesn't get hot. And they have the jacket, this one, to give more protect. And uh, I'm gonna, I already opened the controller cover, and here we pull out this two cable. So this one is from the battery, and this one is from the controller. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna route it from here up to this tube all the way. I put it on the, under the seat. I'm gonna pull it from this hole here. So I'm gonna do it uh, for you to see how it's easy. And then I wanna zip tight, zip tie the, the battery combiner under the seat. So I'm gonna start doing it and Keep you updated guys so i'm gonna do the first one i'm gonna put it inside this hole and keep pushing it and it will pop up here so here is it I got it already, we just um, stuck here a little bit. So this is the first one. So we put the first one like this, the other one need to be the opposite, okay? So this one for the controller and one for the battery. So now I'm gonna do the other one. Route it, same thing from here. To be a little bit tight, but I'm gonna do it either way. So after I finish, I route these two, and they are here, as you can see. So we push them a little bit. So this one, it will go to this one. This is the battery. And this is here, the controller. So they are ready, we put them in. 
and done. For this one here, it's already done. Now we need to take the better combiner and already it will be this one to this one here and this is will be the controller and i already have the extra battery the second battery cable it will go to this one So it's done now. Let's do try the. So now this battery is off. We turn it on. We check here. And done. So now I'm gonna mount it here so you can see how you can do it, I'll fix it, and I'll come back to you once again. Do not go anywhere, the cable is here, clean, nothing, also here is very clean. And we just cap it, and now it's working, and this battery plus this battery, and here, So it's ready, let me do test, small test. So even you turn off this battery, it's still working because it will read this one. So this battery combiner, read which one is bigger and start taking from the bigger one. And then when they are same level of the wattage, they start taking from both. This will reduce the voltage tag for the bike, for the battery, when you push full throttle. So it'll split the voltage tag between this one and this one. And if you need in the future, you can put the four battery combiner and you can put another one under the seat so uh, everything is good very easy doesn't need too much work and the good thing it's very clean no wires no nothing this is the second better cable it's here as you see and there's one it's empty that one is for the extra controller if you need in the future to put two motor or you can cover it, whatever. Thank you for today. And hopefully you understand how is to do the setup. I did it. Too many people, they have different setup. But this one, because this battery combiner need to be ventilated. So the best way is to be under the seat. It will get good ventilation so it doesn't get hot but it's usually it's get warm not hot so it's very clean and it give you more range a little bit a little bit maybe one mile extra on the top speed and that's it for today hopefully i explain good thank you have a good day thank you bye bye